Hi, I'm Kevin Ryan, and I've been making computer games for three decades now. Uh, first started, it was on a computer at my high school that had 8K, and part of that 8K was the operating system. A few of the games I've done is Arctic Fox for the Amiga, Incredible, I was with Dynamics for a long time. Uh, did Incredible Machine, the series of those games, I uh, original design and program on that, and did some work with Garage Games on Marble Blast more recently. And my plan for these series of videos, or video, or I'm not sure how long this will take, or hopefully not too long, is, is to show the development from start to finish of a, of a game for the iPhone. So I, I'll follow along as I'm doing each of the steps, and you know, we'll start with nothing, and at the end, hopefully we'll have an iPhone with, with a game or two running on it. So I decided to use Tort Game Builder to build this, ITGB, the, the iPhone version of it, because I'm familiar with it. And the first time I picked it up two years ago, three years ago, was to do Puzzle Poker and another game, which I prototyped but wasn't released, and maybe someday it will, but I was able to prototype something really fast. Uh, you know, within two days I had two prototypes running, and it easy to use. And for what I have in mind, it should work perfectly. So, um, anyway, um, Let's get started setting up the thing, and we'll just see how it goes. Okay, we have Torque Game Builder running, so the first thing I want to do is create an empty project for my game, and the game's name is Baba Lou. So, you're going to play drum, the Ricky Ricardo. So I got it, it's, I got the location, it's set up, so let's create it. There we go. So I'm going to take a quick look at the uh, project. I I'm going to make it 480 by 320 here. I'm adjusting the design resolution, and I'm going to make the camera match it. It's, uh, I like having the, the camera match pixel width to, the, uh, to the, the resolution, so there we go. They both match. And now let me zoom out here, and we should see, there I got my little layout, and there's my iPhone layout design screen, so let me save this. Okay, I've got the basic uh, framework set up in Torque here for both of the games, so the, the next step is to, um, to have a design for the games to do it. So let's go work on the design next. Now that we've got the project set up on the computer, the, the, the base layout of them, what we need to do next is come out with a flow, the way the game's going to flow and also a, a simple design for these things that we can set up. So the first thing that I want to do is, is uh, take out my notepad and, and just kind of sketch out, okay, this is the way the game's going to flow and here's the artwork that we're going to need. Now these are going to be really simple games using Torque, so we, we're not going to need a whole lot of artwork and stuff, so this should be pretty quick. So, so let's start just by sketching out some ideas and, and seeing what we come up with. Let's lay out some really simple designs for both of these games. Ba Ba Lu. Design. Okay, the first thing is is the way it flows through the game. So we, we're gonna boot up and we'll show a, a nice top meadow screen. And then that will go into a nice garage game screen showing ITGB, the Torque Game Builder. And then from there, it will go into our main menu screen. And we'll have some nice artwork with a Congo drum. I'm not an artist, so. And Baba, Baba Lou. And probably something just as simple as just a button that says play. And, and uh, we have something, maybe we have, you know, easy, medium, hard songs in there that, that are selectable, like tabs or something. We'll figure out a nice way to lay this out, and then we'll have, you know, a list of songs that you can choose. So you select a, a song, and it's a, and then play for the song. Play, play. Sounds good. You click on play, and it, and it takes you to the play screen. And so what do we got on the play screen? Well, Congo drum, so we brought it. We just have a big round Congo drum, and it's going to cover a big thing and on the screen. And uh, another tech thing is 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 uh, you 
artwork on the iPhone works best supposedly when it's powers of two. So maybe you think we'll start out with a, you know, 256 by 256 Congo drum chop and, you know, and it will be nice. You can, we'll have a, an area where you can click on it. If you hit anywhere in here, it, it counts as hitting the drum. Um, we're going to need a score somewhere on here, so we'll have maybe up at the top, you know, typical place, have scores, you know, how many points you have in the thing. We have a, a we're going to want to know if you, if you, if you're off or on when you hit it. So we'll probably have a, a series of things here that are nice. They'll all, this will all be nice artwork in the end, you know, so miss, you know, and then other things that poor. This is not to scale here. Good, excellent, and perfect. This will this will not fill the whole thing here. It'll probably be uh, a, and they'll highlight. So so if you hit it at the right time, the one you do will highlight. Maybe we'll have a count going on of, of each type, so it keeps track of each one that you do. Um, how do you know when to hit it? Well, maybe we'll have a little circle that little translucent circle that 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 grows and when it gets the full size of the screen that's when you hit it so we'll have all these little circles coming up so when it gets that's when you want to tap it so there'll be all these circles coming up when you get 10 perfects you go into babaloo mode so this funny guy pops in and people will like funny guys popping in with his little head will pop in here and it'll go, while the game's running, it won't stop. It'll go Babaloo and, and everything's worth double points because you're in Babaloo mode until you hit miss. And game over, you finish the song and we want a, a real simple results screen. And we'll make this more fancy than this and it'll give your score. And maybe a top 10, 10 list so you can see how you did. And, Maybe we'll hook into some sort of online database that will have your top 10 scores in there. And then we'll have a, something like an OK button that takes you back up to that screen. Anything else we need? Maybe on this screen we need something real simple like a restart. You know, be nice to the user. They, they're playing your game. You know, suppose they really mess up, right? Well, do, the, do we want to force them to go to the end of the thing? No. Let them restart. Hit the restart button. And then the song goes back to the start. Maybe there's a little countdown. A one, a two, a three. You know, it's a music. You, you know, we m match the style of the game we're doing. So we restart the game that way. To, so it doesn't start right off like that. And So anyway, this is, there we go. We have the simple layout of the game. And we could lay this all out in Torque really quickly because Torque's, set up to build the GUIs and hook up all this stuff. So we could prototype this whole part really quickly. It would just take us a few hours to get this thing running in Torque. And, and later on, that's what we'll do. We'll get really simple artwork in there and, and see if it's any fun. Because <laughs> it doesn't make sense to do something if it's not fun, if people don't enjoy it. So, so anyway, there's Babaloo, a, a simple design for that one. Now we have a design worked out. It's very simple, but it's something that we think can work on the iPhone. So what I want to do next is take this back to the computer, get some rough artwork in place, program artwork so it won't look pretty, and then start laying things out on the screen, making it work with the resolution of the iPhone, seeing how stuff fits on different areas of the screen, and then get a rough prototype running with my artwork in there. So it won't look good, but we'll get a sense how the game plays.